Welcome everyone to today's, this week's IT bits and news live stream. In case we are live, we also missed a super nice sunset here because Pulse Audio can't mix this shit up each week the same. Modern Linux open source bullshit. Anyway, I hope you're finally live. And uh, as per the usual procedure here, by the way, I also hope this live stuff loads this new amazing or so they say live stuff here uh, at least on the youtube side of things oops the birds are not too loud but we love nature let's see how many dropped frames we will have from this neighbor's wi-fi and yeah really a pity looked nicer a second ago but what can you do pulse audio 50 minutes fight because why not Anyway, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, live control room also, is this even, shouldn't run, whatever. Anyway, uh, slowing down, not a surprise, you name it, as long as we are live also here, yeah, everything super slow, modern web stuff and Firefox. More to this later in this news segment, in case we stay live until then, but so far we are actually streaming. Um, this is really super slow here, how can this be so slow? Anyway, this is amazing, as usual, I guess. Um, and this is still loading, it's ridiculous. Okay, well, everything of this doesn't load. Could also be Pulse Audio, let's see, does this play here or not? It's the dawn of a new beginning. It even does load and play amazing. So yeah, first news of this week, do it yourself. Simon Geertz has built the world's first Tesla truck. Not the greatest fan of Teslas and trucks, but this DIY project certainly is super amazing. If you have not seen it already, check it out. It is really a really nice do-it-yourself job here. In contrast to this Firefox browser with apparently, uh, you name it. Anyway, I need to get a ThinkPad. Can't make this up. Okay, probably, maybe time to say goodbye to this live stuff anyway in case we are even live let's check with the smartphone if this even streams because amazing preparation after the fight with pulse audio there is even with this load in but then the also the hyper connected web 2.0 stuff when Probably this does not even have here a connection in the YouTube Studio Creator stuff. Let's see your channel. Does this indicate? Uh, no. Oh, come on, internet. So we can do this. Maybe we can't do it. It doesn't show live here. Hmm, guess that we're not live. So, let's see. Does this come live or not? Ah, all the modern amazing stuff, you name it. Welcome in the audience. Monaco was only shortly to double our YouTube AdSense Playbacks 10. So somewhere we are half live, but not really live. The future of web technology or so, you name it. And uh, in case we're live now, and that is amazing. I hope we still stay live on this resource constraint thing here. Um, so then let's continue with the IT news that we partially missed already. So Truckler, amazing do-it-yourself 
project here from Simon Giertz, do it yourself modding a Tesla Model 3 into the world's first truck. Not the greatest fan of neither Tesla nor trucks, but anyway, super amazing do it yourself project. Slightly wondering though that I don't see this here on my own phone, but whatever. I hear something though. Oh, we are live. Amazing stuff. Maybe I'll leave it here on the phone then. This is modern stuff, uh, ultra low voltage device next to the other. Chat on one, video on the other. Amazing stuff to be improved in the future. So, next news also super amazing uh, do it yourself stuff because I wanted to share some amazing other do it yourself YouTubers and also more positive news than all the depressive security vulnerabilities and Apple bullshit. And this is here someone do it yourself machining CNC machining uh, Mac Pro Grill, you know, this new cheese grater out of aluminium for do, do, do it yourself tinkering, like modding your cube or Mac Mini or whatnot. Also, amazing stuff here that you probably best watch here and not on my degraded Surface Pro experience. Probably need to, after this live stream, order a proper ThinkPad. In other news, hackers, farmers and doctors unite. Support for right to repair law slowly grows. It is super amazing. We have had here many shout outs for right to repair and that we totally endorse this. That, in my opinion, can't stress this here often enough, just like Louis Rossman and other repair folks. Do it yourself. Modify your Tesla, your iPhone, your Mac, your Surface, uh, even from iPhone batteries to displays to touch disease, even touch disease on this stupid surface. And um, yeah, breaking stuff everywhere, which my this display is a little bit bright and this is not my regular setup. Let's manual, usually I have here my brightness keys, but not on this installation. Then in other news, CIA spied on people through the smart TV, something I predicted and called out here already multiple times. And uh, so this is exactly what I expected will happen and it happened. <coughs> so no really surprise there unless to folks who thought this is a surprise. Where is also our <coughs> yeah, Intel ultra low voltage can't even live stream here from that and switch workspaces. And you have this fake off mode, so the TV looks off with uh, black screen or even dim backlight or whatsoever. And yeah, so this is, I don't really understand why you need a camera and microphone in your TV. I already suggested multiple people not to get a smart TV, but yeah, that's it. Uh, WikiLeaks is uh, the most amazing site, maybe not anymore. <clears throat> yeah, but doesn't surprise me after the Snowden papers and, and stuff like that. And again, if I want display, I want to display not a thing with microphone and, and stuff. And then uh, my father also brought a smart TV five years ago or something, although I told him not to. But then, yeah, there was a similar price. The panel was better. And so here's a smart TV. In the meantime, after a couple of software upgrades, it starts to crash every other day. And they barely touch the navigation now because then otherwise they watch uh, crime stuff there on TV and it crashes. So amazing stuff. And yeah, just as usual, you know, this stuff is full of security vulnerabilities with Android, Linux, you name it, or whatever, yeah, probably not so much other stuff. And yeah, then you get access to the microphone. And again, even on a laptop, I barely use a camera, even on the Dell XPS stuff with a Frosch camera, I always said I barely use it. Even for YouTube streaming, you know, the angle would here so bad, um, would totally not make any sense at all. So I rather have your more proper micro four third with a proper camera than this extremely limited cameras. Even for my conference calls, we call and not camera. I don't really need to see the other people there in their pyjama or whatnot. In similar news here in German that I will translate here, Thermomix um, is actually this is a little bit misleading here. It's a little bit clickbait because Thermomix, as far as I know, is a registered brand of some fancy uh, household stuff thing there, but this is here about not the or original one, but a cheap copy there, discounter copy, and um, Monsieur Cuisine Connect, and is highly insecure as per usual, full of security vulnerabilities, 
to no one's surprise. And um, then um, zero the frames. That's amazing. Wonder how long this will uh, survive. Comments in the audience. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. And yes, so this is uh, yeah. As I said, the original 1,499. This this copy here from a discount of 359, but full of security vulnerabilities. Um, has a microphone. Um, I also wonder why does your kitchen aid stuff need a microphone, and um, probably not even used. And um, yeah, you can use it. You can access it. It's full of v security vulnerabilities. I think um, connects to Wi-Fi um, and so on and so on. And yeah, has Android and. Uh, whatever something also we will see by the way did I even close this here or not need to shortly what have I done here today oh, okay and the comments in the audience uh, so yeah do not buy this connected smart bullshit usually it is more insecure than smart and um, Dave says his conference call Samsung call on Samsung and I signed up to their SDK I have cross origin JavaScript calls without cause, which is pretty insecure. Yeah, so uh, call on Samsung and I signed up to their. Um, yeah, anyway, and uh, by the way, fun fact the most conference calls I am in are usually lacking in the audio quality, so I rather wish people would actually invest in, the, in their audio setup than web camera. I mean, sometimes, especially when it's a conference like ISO PDF conference with, with 20 people in the room. And then you can barely hear those 20 people in the room. And they yeah, are not amazing. In other news, uh, more amazing news, but also security news, OpenSSH is apparently maybe getting support for, is this by the way committed or yeah, looks committed, I guess, if this is here, CVS, by the way, um, Open BSD people still using CV CVS, right? It's the stuff that I didn't even like in 1998. Anyway, so this is adding to support for Uh, protecting private private keys at rest in RAM against speculation and memory side channel attacks like Spectrum Meltdown, Rawhammer. Again, all the news we had in previous IT news that you probably, I probably even made a Rawhammer dedicated live stream and uh, RAM bleed. I mean, actually, and um, so what this is is it with this RAM bleed you could hammer out those bits of memory and slowly but steadily get to the private key eventually of a uh, virtual machine running next to you and what this is doing is encrypting the key in memory with a temporary random key here I think um, to m make it impossible or at least extremely hard if not impossible with a symmetric key derived from a relatively large pre-key considering random data currently 16k ran random data and who you can watch the video that you cannot really target random data if you know where the data is then you can bit bang those out of there but if it's random data and you don't really know where exactly it is and such then it becomes extremely um, hard they say apparently allegedly anyway in other amazing news amazon lays off dozens of game developers during e3 and uh, yeah, so much too too big to fail. The big companies run the whole world, and they constantly, you know, they they disrupt the industry, cause thousands of jobs. They want to take this over, and then they just lay off all those people. Um, in my opinion, we should much more vote with the wallet, avoid this uncontrolled big capitalism of this disruptive companies who, in my opinion, more often than not destroy industries with undercutting prices without any profits and yeah as you see not the most secure jobs there anyway with all this disruptive stuff not being the most successful or so in other news ah yeah new facebook uh, cryptocurrency from this one company if you don't want to trust any data um, you now get a crypto or a crypto at least digital currency and yeah, so much to the companies, they want to like basically control the world to everything and then they make a photo sharing website and 
currency and yeah exactly with all the privacy stuff they sell basically everything to the advertisers and analytic firms and share and share and pay and I mean not pay but cash in all the money and yeah you can be sure what they do with all your purchase data they're matching this with your account and all your shares and likes and location good stuff with that good luck with that i can't recommend this also really wonder who would use this i would certainly not recommend anyone and um, yeah this is crazy by the way they were accused by some other startup to copy the logo apparently they use the same artwork design company which recycled some old logo ideas or something and um, yeah so much to biggest one of the biggest companies there in u.s history and copying logos from other startups with yeah can't make this stuff up anyway us video streaming you know files cryptocurrency offering with sex so you see each company i didn't even know about you know but every everyone and its dog and its kitchen sink now needs a cryptocurrency because can't have enough of those even with bitcoin we had this in the news barley used by people mostly for speculation and burning electrons there electricity used f of many small companies combined just for all the transaction computations there and yeah apparently we can't waste enough energy and everyone in its kitchen sink and dog and whatnot and its neighbor needs a cryptocurrency a really strange times instead and by the way this is not really adding so much value not not like in old-fashioned times where you build cars or laptops or stuff and now and this digital bullshit that nobody really needs this does not really add you any value we can already pay electronically with all kinds of electronic systems and yeah exactly what we were waiting for right in other news it's just a swipe away and yeah vintage technology has powered the innards of the new york subway new york city subway system for decades and sometimes and sometimes it surfaces in interesting ways um, this one for you OS2 fans so they apparently still run their OS2 which of course many of us knew they still used OS2 in many uh, automated teller machines their ATMs but apparently also for the subway system there in New York apparently according to this which is of course super interesting also funny if not scary that they didn't transition to something else since then but there, yeah, there you have it if you wondered who is the last user of OS2 maybe the New York City subway interesting stuff maybe we can sell them our uh, vaporware microkernel in similar old-fashioned um, abundantware news wine, de wine developers concerned with ubuntu dropping 32-bit support for ubuntu 19.10 and this is the same stuff where for not only for only for our vintage stuff they re removed not only 386 support in the linux kernel or spark 32-bit initial first gen spark station 2 and such support in the linux kernel but also the support for acceleration x server the xaa the classic x acceleration architecture and uh, with that of course we do not have support for this vintage graphic card acceleration through s3 verge and matrox and stuff in my opinion totally unnecessary the modern code is so complex i understand the code is not needed for modern graphic cards but yeah remove it just for that and yeah you certainly always have some windows program even maybe the new york city subway or some banks who needs to run 32-bit commercial proprietary burn only windows stuff on linux or something and with all this removal also always the people yay remove 32-bit support yeah but then you might also lose some wine support right for your games even many installers they write here many windows installers and helper stuff and game installers and helpers and tools are still 32-bit and yes so much too in my opinion plenty un unnecessary stuff to always delete everything what was built up in previous times comments in the audience also big companies want to get the payment game however mastercard and visa basically own the payment gateway Zuckerberg wants to sidestep that using folks cryptocurrency yeah also as we discussed earlier you can already transfer it with paypal and such although we had plenty of videos not the greatest fan of that 
and even Apple Pay wants to do this. And this is also really sad in my opinion that, that Apple is really doing amazing products. They just copy others like payment stuff just to cash in there in, in low hanging fruits or not so low hanging fruits, something, something like that. But really sad in my opinion that they don't really do really outstanding products and, and just copy their stuff. Speaking of outstanding products, New touchscreen interfaces, systems and cars are a distracting mess. That is uh, similar what I said about Teslas and other live streams already. This is one of the reasons I'm not the greatest fan of Teslas. This huge touchscreen, in my opinion, really insecure, dangerous to fumble around on the touchscreen and, and look for buttons when in old fashioned cars you can reach there while still looking on the street and reach your climate control button with just feeling the physical knob there and yes i agree many cars has really suboptimal physical knob stuff there and i also understand it's a huge cost saving right tesla instead of manufacturing all the plastic parts and electronic system bus and wiring harness components certainly that saves you thousand dollars of the car but for safety not really sure but that's maybe why mudstar is purging touchscreens from its vehicles. Some Motor Authority report wrote you already in February. Tablet like touchscreens have become the ambitious interface of choice and seemingly everywhere in daily life. But um, yeah, avoiding doing the research when a driver wants to reach towards the touchscreen interface in any vehicle, they would unintentionally apply torque to the steering wheel and the vehicle would drift off the lane position and so on. You can read the Reza, a report here as I thought we probably should get faster through all the new bits and pieces here, not to have a one hour live stream always. In similar news, General Motors and Fiat Chrysler unmasked Tesla's secret source of cash and not in the investment ways, but I think this was in maybe climate certificates or something here sell it, selling credits to other car makers that need this offset to offset sales of polluting vehicles in, to the US customers. So there you see it, big oil, um, internal combustion en engine, ice cars only still on the road because of trading there the environmental certificates with electric car makers. Crazy times to be honest, just if you were wondering. And also Tesla is said to have huge money problems in this day and age. They would probably not even exist with such kind of certificate deals. In similar news, people keep spotting Teslas with snoozing drivers on the freeway really crazy, especially as a, there were already plenty of accidents where people with the autopilot listening to audiobooks, Harry Potter, watching movies, driving straight into lane separation, concrete blocks and whatnot. And maybe even because a Tesla, I know very well that you need to touch the steering wheel, but you can even put there some fruit or something and the weight of the fruit or something there are even like nine dollar 99 plastic handles for fruits or tennis balls or whatnot and yes you should not use this huge security hazard and maybe even just putting your arm there and having the weight of your sleeping arm resting on the steering wheel might be enough and this is not a pro tip don't do this at home this is highly discouraged and um, yeah this is um, certainly how much more accidents will happen in the future here to come and by the way in the night five percent display really is enough actually here even that is nearly still blinding cheers french wine we can recommend but not a paid advertisement and don't drink at home and stuff like that super dangerous stuff leave me in the comments what you think about this in similar news of too big to fix, Google CEO says YouTube is too big to fix completely, which is of course hilarious. Imagine in previous times if there would be some defect with light pipes and people got, would get elect electroshocks and then the manufacturer would say, yeah, we, it's, it's too big of a light bulb production to fix. People will continue to get electroshocks. This is really sad. And this is also the, this kind of Silicon Valley companies, they wreck in their billions. And, and fire, destroy, disrupt tool industries, cause hundreds of thousands of job losses. Um, first maybe employ some and then later like Amazon for the game division and similar stuff, let them go. Not to mention 150 projects of Google who were already cancelled. But then, and hey, zero frames, how is it possible? Are we even live? <coughs> anyway, 
So yeah, then the latest, of course, YouTube is not directly killing people unless with uh, online harassment and people uh, commenting there to um, harm other people there, like in US politics and crazy people like this. So yeah, there you have it. With all the politicians, yeah, we can't do anything against uh, hate speech and whatnot because YouTube is too big to fix and yeah, that's why we need to also gamble our AdSense revenue to pay a bill here because three dollar a day you name it algorithm at work but maybe our content is just not amazing enough in similar news google is the biggest snoop of all your computer and cell phone data of course the source is here some shabby pseudo old-fashioned magazine print something inquirer stuff i only wanted to include this here that in mainstream old-fashioned something news they already start to realize this maybe for politics there in the news game but maybe not anyway not a surprise there but i can't point this often enough and this was in other news i think this was specifically also about chrome at least this is yeah this is also why do i point this out because of the ongoing chrome versus firefox stuff ad blocking and stuff of course google with all their billions right now not playing they're very fair in the ad blocking business stuff there and um, yeah chrome is more and more disabling support for ad blocking only for paying business customers or some shady bullshit and tracking and stuff i think they even yeah thousands of tracking stuff and this is also ridiculous i open your website here for the news and i always get here some cookie warning stuff and i can only accept or leave the site this is of course really ridiculous Dave is commenting, harmful content is a complete misnomer. What's considering harmful harassment is what's happening in the political... To be yeah, um, I'm also, by the way, of course, totally not endorsing censorship. The problem is also if we allow these big companies to do the censor censorship, in my opinion, this is totally not the right way to have big divisions at Facebook and Google sitting there with thousands of people censoring the content, in my opinion. As this is like really 1984 censoring ship and of course they can totally misuse it certainly like in facebook news we had the other news and then i would rather have this go through courts if you want to sue someone for some comments then for some deformation or whatever use the court system and um, not this um, self-censoring stuff unless maybe like channels on mine that if I run the channel, I can delete comments if I think they're inappropriate or they are like spam or whatsoever. But the censorship divisions in big companies not the greatest fan. In similar news, we had here... Ah, yeah, this was amazing. In similar stupid news, um, here's the official procedure to reset your smart light bulbs. Light bulbs General Electric, how to reset their C level light bulbs in morse code so yeah now you have a day and age where smart bulbs are so stupid that they can crash and stuff and you need to reset them maybe or stuff and then you can watch this this is hilarious uh, eight times eight seconds on and two seconds off and yeah um how to count to two and eight five different times reset your light bulb it's hilarious um this is i would totally not buy any smart bullshit more it's only you know what this is only the companies it, it's, it's nearly adding zero benefit to your life in my opinion barley verse anything and if you do smart stuff program your own microcontroller like we did with the keyboard videos here on my channel if you want some smart stuff or whatever and not use this bullshit basically this are just fancy light bulbs and they will also get defect right if you have your own microcontroller there it could last 100 years and you can flash it and stuff and hack it and these light bulbs will be defect in a couple of years to come and uh, beside what value is this really adding in my opinion and then the people get more obese and whatnot and are overweight and need to the gym just because they don't walk to the light switch anymore it's, it's ridiculous it's, it's it's strange anyway in more better news or in pricing, uh, surprising news, Apple released a security update for the airport base station. And this is newsworthy because this product is discontinued. So much to the other vendors who do not even release updates for not discontinued products. And um, yeah, for all the 
critique we get Apple here, sometimes they also do the right thing and not like with Android Pixel phones and whatnot, Nexus and Pixel, you don't get security updates just two years and three years after the launch date, which is totally not, not acceptable in other, at other vendors, you get even less. And here you get even firmware update for discontinued and obsolete airport base stations. Thumbs up for that. They also actually, now that I say this, they have a battery recall program. Probably this is too slow to load here though with this stupid ultra low voltage stuff. Zero drop frames, how is it possible even? Interesting. So Apple has a new battle battery recall program for the Retina. And uh, yeah, so they have a really a recall for potentially exploding uh, batteries or so. I think unfortunately mine is slightly too old for that. I thought I get a free battery, but maybe not unless the site was overloaded because mine is mid 2013, which I also realize how slow this in the meantime becomes with all the security mitigations and modern software. Really need to order a ThinkPad sometime soon. And yeah, there you have it. Um, more defects, more stuff. In similar news, Facebook, what was it? Can't scroll because, uh, oh yeah, I should probably have sorted this. Facebook usage falling after privacy scandals. Maybe I should have sorted this earlier. But this browser became too slow to move the tabs on this Intel, Intel Ultra Low Voltage Core i7. Can't make this up. As you see, barely can navigate here something with 20 tabs open in Firefox and OBS running with surprisingly zero drop frames. Welcome, Detard. Um, need to chat with you, Detard. So, by the way, as it's end of the month. Um, so, yeah, use, uh, usage falling after privacy scandals, data suggest, which would be amazing. I never used Facebook. I have an account there, barely use it, and mostly use it to sometimes post a video now, or like my wife's photo for something. You know, my wife tells me, go to Facebook, like my photo, like, yeah, okay, welcome, do this. But otherwise, it's ridiculous how much people use this stuff and, and waste their lifetime with this stuff of not achieving something anymore. Where is even the tap here? Of, oh, there's the tap. This would be amazing, and I hope very few people use their, secure, uh, their digital, digital currency. And um, also, shout out, do more real life stuff, hang out with friends and family, and, and yeah, somehow this. In when I was a kid, grandparents told us not to sit too much in front of a PC when we were programming, and that was even only some hours. Now people hang the whole day in front of Facebook and achieve nothing. But that's probably something for another philosophical video. In other final concluding news here, US tells India it's mulling caps on H1B visas to deter data rules, sources say here. Uh, on Reuters and um, to store data, so it's to force foreign companies to store data locally, which is of course ridiculous, pure form of blackmailing, right? You want H-1B visas then, don't force companies to store data locally, which is of course hilarious and just the usual word policy then that for 100 years or at least 70 years or something is disrupting every night and day is a world at scale and yeah black mailing at its best let's see what we have comments in the audience and um, you have my email okay internet is slow we should go back to goofo what do you mean with internet is slow i was using rcs the other day for chat and it was shocking how fast it was here yeah, i'm also shocked that we have zero drop frames although we are streaming with 5 Mbit, but maybe this is because I disabled the live preview here. So how long is this live stream on this Bali navigatable Microsoft Surface stuff? Um, do we even have the full time running? Where would it be here on this? Um, Yeah, um, also modern web browsing, what we constantly shout out here, I'm really not impressed anymore. Where is even, um, I'm really slightly wondering how the resulting cut and paste of this partially failing live stream is. 
And uh, yeah, questions audience, otherwise we could call it a day. I'm actually slightly wondering how long the live stream was with all this trial and error and probably already 45 minutes, I guess. Um, yeah, I could just can barely move my windows and um, uh, yeah, but um, faulted myself. Why do I use this Microsoft Surface? You might ask because running Linux on this aging Retina MacBook Pro 15 inch is also not amazing. Also, when I boot on the USB SSD, I figured the other day that I sometimes lose it. It's not really fun to live stream when the USB ports disappear randomly for either your root file system SSD or your um, HD capturing stuff. Um, what we are seeing now is via just a bunch of dots. Yes, it is a night uh line here in the quota zero because why not let me enable the preview and uh yeah this is probably not the most sharp uh, let's see can we focus on the dots also really a pity that yeah okay i can't really focus on those maybe because uh, which direction would be focusing apparently not this direction it appears we previously had a nice sunset, which, by the way, should be f totally in one direction, right? But somehow it doesn't make it that much better. Anyway, okay, then we scratch that. We previously had this nice sunset here that was not a live stream because... Ah, uh, pulls audio. Anyway, yeah, so that is uh, the stuff with just a couple of ports also from the Surface. Why is there not a nice background on this live stream setup? Because this is not my main SSD because Surface also only has one USB port that I need for the HDMI capture. And uh, yeah, so all the compromises I will never again buy a notebook with only two USB ports. That is complete and utter bullshit. Totally can't recommend this. And uh, certainly not the Surface again with all the touch disease. I hope you learned something from any of those news. It's probably time to do something else then. That is no... It's now broken, let's see. Yeah, now they are less focused because I touched the manual focus here. But that is what we get here for that. Anyway. You should think that it should be fully in focus with reaching the manual focus. See, it's more focus. Maybe. Anyway, maybe enough for the digital artwork installation here. And um, yeah, if we don't have more questions in the audience, we probably could call it a day. I hope you learned something and uh, to see you soon for all the next news and live streams to come.